Hey everybody, welcome to T. Roy Cooks. Appreciate you joining us today. We're cooking on the Weber kettle. We're doing low and slow. I've got a pork belly. Now, this pork belly is about three and a half pounds and it doesn't have the skin on it. I couldn't find one with skin on it. She'll do like them cracklings, man. I'll, I'll see if I can find one with skin on it here in a little while and do, the, do a video on that. But we're just cooking this one like we would a pork butt, okay? Low and slow. It's gonna let the fat in that pork belly just mingle all in there and get all rendered out. It's gonna be some fantastic eating here at the end. Bring you back here in a second. We're going to show you how we'll season this thing up. All right, folks, as you can see, I got the slow and sear in here. I've got a water, uh, that's a, a, a gap you can put water in down there to help separate the heat. So you got a direct cooking and a, a non direct cooking zone. I just put like maybe 10 or 15 charcoal briquettes in here. This is Kingsford, and I've got them sitting right now over my uh, propane igniter on this nice Weber performer that Karen bought for me recently. Turn the fire off because we don't want to get it. You just want to get them a little ashy because again we're going low and slow so you don't want to get them totally grayed out Let's see if i can move this over this way slide it under the tabs there without spilling too much of that water all right i've already used this pan once i'm just going to put it down in there for a drip pan to keep grease down from getting into my, my ash catcher down there and i've got the vents on the very bottom set to about a quarter of the way open Let's set the grill grate on there. Oh, first off, I guess. Let's go ahead and put some more charcoal in here. Should be enough for now. And I did uh, a similar cook, low and slow with this, uh, slow and sear. Again, adrenaline barbecue. You'll check them out down in the links uh, down below in the description. Just hit show more. But um, this thing worked fabulously, folks. Just keep the upper and lower vents about a quarter to halfway open and that thing will sit there about 225 to 250 all day for like six hours without you having to add charcoal but uh we'll check it again today let me throw in some cherry wood and i actually forgot to soak my cherry wood chips so we're just gonna throw them directly on there like this it'd be all right if i had to add some more wood later on i can like that folks and this is kind of like the snake method kind of the coals are over here and they'll start working their way over this way throughout the cook that's what gives you a nice long slow and low burn okay there we go we're gonna put our grill grate on there we're gonna let it warm up so we can brush it off put that vent about halfway open and again the bottom vent right now is a quarter of the way open we'll meet you back here in a little bit when we're getting ready to season up that pork belly all right, folks, this is my three and a half pound pork belly. I just finished scraping down the grate with just a regular wire rack. Got a little olive oil on here. Just like so. I'm using this, uh, this is the Texas Best Rib Rub from Heaven Made Products. Uh, Y'all check it out, links down below in the description box. Just hit show more. Really good stuff, man. I really can't believe how good this Heaven Made Products is. Excellent, folks. Give it a nice rub on there. Get some on the outside edges here. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and we'll bring it right back. Hey gang, it's been about five minutes. And right now the kettle's about 275. I'm gonna crank down the uh, vent just a little bit on the bottom. There we go. And again, this water barrier prevents heat from going under the pork belly. So all you get is the heat rising in the dome and coming back over. Don't waste that rub, man. That's good stuff. Get that rub on there. There we go. All right. So again, I'm gonna close down the vent on the bottom just a little bit. Make sure your vent's over your meat. I'm gonna shut this one down just a little bit as well to maybe a quarter open. Put that one down just a little bit. See if we can maintain closer to 250 on this thing. But uh, we'll check on it here in a couple hours to see what it's looking like. All right, folks. It's been three hours. As you can see, we're holding just below. 250 Fahrenheit right there. Um, loving this slow and sear, man. Really, really great product. It's working great. While I have the lid off, I am going to go ahead and kind of stir the coals up just a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Make sure you let all that ash get out of there before you put the lid back on. Pork belly itself is looking fantastic. I'm liking the color on it. Yeah, that's looking really nice. I'm going to let it go another hour or two. 
And then we're going to probably wrap it because wrapping it will help it uh, render all that fat that's in there. It's a lot of fat in there. This is what they make bacon out of. This is uh, natural, uncured pork belly right here without the skin on it. So, mm. we're just going to let it keep going. We'll meet y'all back here in a couple hours, folks. It's been six hours, okay? We're holding 275 now. Let's see what this is looking like. There we go. Looks tremendous, folks. Let's see what kind of internal temp we have here. 167, 168, 169. Yeah, so it's probably just getting past the stall. Look at all that juice running out of there, man. Hey, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and fold this into, uh, not fold it, but we're going to tent it. Heck, what am I trying to say? We're going to wrap this. That's what I'm trying to say. We're going to wrap this in some tin foil. Heavy duty aluminum tin foil. Let me get it kind of centered up here for you. Looking like a little pocket here. Go ahead and throw in a little bit of apple juice. Doesn't need a lot because this is uh, this is plenty of fat in here, I'm telling you, man. This don't need a lot. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more of this heaven made products. This is the uh, rib rub. Just kind of help support that flavor that we were initially going with. Folks, you know, I usually throw tiger sauce. I unfortunately don't have a bottle of tiger sauce on hand, so I'm using some of the rooster sauce here. If you don't want this, that's fine. Just leave it out. Either way you want to do. Well, seem like I've got a jam over here. I'll just do it this way. How about that? Toothpick will fix that later. Don't need a whole lot. It's kind of spicy, so again, if you don't want this too spicy, just leave this uh, tiger sauce, not tiger sauce, <laughs> sriracha sauce, man. Leave it off. And I got some real unsalted butter. We're going to go on with some butter here. This is about a quarter of a stick. And it's hot out here today, folks. It's uh, probably about 85 or so. We're just going to go ahead and throw this in there like that. Yeah, get all that nice butter off of there, folks. That's good stuff right there. That's gonna make that fat on that pork taste really, really nice. And I'm gonna wrap it up. We're gonna throw it back on. Easy peasy, folks. And I'm gonna go fat side up. You wanna wrap it pretty tight. Because what you want it to do, you want it to steam in its own juices. So make sure you wrap this up really good. And uh, like I said, the, the temp's close to 170, so it's probably just getting out of the stall. I'll flip it this way so this other side's getting heated up. Um, I still have plenty of coals. I still have plenty of water. I still have some smoke, which, uh, you know, don't really need now that I've got it wrapped, but I'm just going to let it rock and roll. I have not added any coals or any more wood to this. Let me bring it up here where I can see you. So we're just going to let this go. Until it gets close to about 198, 200 internal. And at that point, we're going to check it for tenderness. I'm not cooking. And y'all have asked me this before, like when I do briskets and pork butt. I'm not cooking by a certain temp, interior temp, you know, like 200 interior. Um, I'm not doing that. The internal temp. I'm cooking by the feel of it. And I'll show you that here probably in two or three hours once it starts getting close to 200 degrees internal Fahrenheit. So we'll catch back up with you then, and I'll explain what I mean when I'm saying I'm cooking by the feel of it with a probe or a toothpick or a skewer, not by the internal temp. I'll stick around. It's going to be great. All right, folks. It's been eight hours, and it has come a monsoon here. I just put some pictures up on Facebook. Uh, man, in a video of all the, all the rain stuff. Let's, uh, let's see where we're at here. It's still feeling pretty tough in the middle. You know when I probe it? Let's see where we're at. Showing 169, 170. So we still got a little bit to go. Again, eight hours in. I still have plenty of charcoal here. And um, I'm not worried about any more smoke because I've got it wrapped over here. I may unwrap it here in a little bit. But eight hours in, it's looking pretty good. Uh, temp's holding pretty good. It's been still holding about 250 to 275. Get you up here where I can see you. But uh, we'll check back here in another hour or two and see where it's at. I may unwrap it here in a little bit and uh, just let some of that bark form back up, you know, because when it's wrapped the whole time, it 
it tends to make the bark soft. So just playing it by ear. But we'll check back on here in another hour or two, see where we're at. We'll be back. All right, folks, it's uh, pretty much stopped raining, but I had uh, opened up the bottom vent and also this top vent a little bit just to kind of keep the temps up. And now we're sitting at 325, so it's, uh, how long has it been? Uh, like nine hours now since I put this on. Let's see what kind of temp we're reading right now. See where we're at. Oh, it's gliding through like butter. Let's see where we're at. That's getting real close. 195. Hmm, let me check it from the other side. Let me just give it a little quick check. 195 on that side as well. Tell you what, folks, that's uh that's just about done. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this fat side up, remember? Fat side up. What I'm gonna do. Let's turn this thing around here. See if I can open this baby up a little bit. There we go. So it's back fat side up again. I need to do fat side down is what I want to do. Oh, let's see. Let's see if I can do that. So I can get a little bit of bark on this baby. Okay. Kind of making a pocket here. That's all I'm doing. But uh, I'm gonna create create like a little pocket so that I can flip this baby over. There you go. Let's get that meat side up. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Now we're talking. I'm gonna let it finish cooking like that right there. And I'm thinking maybe another half hour or so. Maybe another hour. I don't know. We'll check it. But once it gets up close to 200, I mean, it's already feeling pretty soft. But once it gets closer to 200, then I'll know that we're good. And hopefully we'll bring you back here. Get you a close-up on that so you can see what's going on here real quick. Come on, folks. There we go. Mo better. It's kind of hard to get it with a foil, but uh, it's looking good, folks. Smells terrific, and I'll tell you this slow and sear is doing fantastic. I still have some charcoal in here. We'll meet y'all back here when this is uh, hitting about 200 Fahrenheit internal temp. Y'all stick around, folks. This is a good cook. I'm enjoying this. All right, gang. It's been 11 hours. As you can tell over here, you see all that pink over here, and over in this area here. Where is it? Here it is. Pink. That's, uh, that's the sun setting. It's getting really late. It's been on here, like I said, about 11 hours. Still holding really nice temp with this uh, slow and sear, and I still have charcoal left in here too. I mean, it's, uh, you know, maybe, I don't know, 15 or so charcoals down there, but it's still going. It's still providing heat, doing good. And this is just, I guess this is just a stubborn piece of pork, but I tell you, it's, it's really tender, really super tender. When I probe it, even though the temp only says about 189, 180, yeah, 189 right there. Let's go from this side, let's see. Let's try that. See, that's only reading like uh, 185. But, uh, but it's, it's actually probing really tender. I think it's done. Still a little tight right there. But generally, it's really tender. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this. It's getting really late, and I'm ready to uh, I'm ready to let this thing cool off so I can dive into it. So pull it off. We're gonna wrap it up. Let it sit for about an hour or so, and we're gonna tear it apart. And we're gonna taste this bad boy. It's gonna be good. Y'all stick around. I wanted to mention this this board right here. This nice cutting board is made by, and I think it's appropriate since I'm doing pork belly. This is made by Pork Belly Woodworks right here in Texas. Links down below. Click show more beneath the video. Open the description box. I'll put a link down where you can get you some cutting boards like this along with some other fine wood products. Appreciate you, Alex. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can check this out. This is, uh, again, this is uncured pork belly. This is bacon, basically. Fats on the bottom. Let's just start pulling this apart. Let's see what it looks like. 
I mean, this is a uh, this is gonna be some some fine eating here for me and the dogs and Karen and everybody else. And y'all y'all just I'm just just pulling stuff, folks. This is like pulled pork when you cook it right. Um, tell you what, folks, this is a uh, this is awesome right here, man. Just you know, make you one of them little fine rosetta things like that, you know. That's pork candy right there, folks. But uh, man, I'll tell you what, that bark, this bark, that's that's some excellent stuff. Again, heaven made products, y'all go check them out. Again, link down below, check it out. But uh, let's let's uh, let's give this a taste, folks. This is uh, this is tremendous, tremendous, tremendous pork belly, folks. Just can't talk about it enough. Oh man, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Oh my gosh! I mean, there's there's definitely a lot of fat that could have rendered if I would have cooked it a little bit longer. We'll do some more sometime. But uh, I'm very happy with this. This is a uh, and this this bark is just going to make this totally awesome, folks. Let's check this out. Let's give this a try. All right, everybody, here we go. Check out that bark. That's the Heaven Made Products, okay? This is their uh, the rib rub. Go check them out, heavenmadeproducts.com. Remember to use promo code TROY20, all together, T-R-O-Y 20, when you're checking out. And Mike tried to, tried to see if he can send me some money. I was like, no, we don't do that. I want to save my fans some money instead of me getting money off of this. So when you go there and you use my promo code, you get 20% off. Appreciate that, Mike. Again, excellent rubs. Go check them out, folks. Hey, pork belly. Folks, if you like bacon, and you like pulled pork, do your pork belly. This one didn't have skin on it, so you don't get the crackling. But folks, this is good. Really good. Mm. Go check out Kyle. Patriot Barbecue. Thanks for sending me the hat, Kyle. Oh, the uh, the board, the the uh, the cutting board. I thought it's fitting. <laughs> Fifty wants some pork belly. Anyway, that cutting board is from Pork Belly Woodworks right here in Texas. I like to support my own man here in Texas. Hope you support your local businesses as well where you are. Pork Belly Woodworks, and also. Adrenaline Barbecue for sending me that slow and sear worked great. I only filled the charcoal tray up once and I still have charcoal out there that's burning. And this, I cooked this for like 11 hours, folks. So slow and sear is the way to go, folks. If you got a kettle, a Weber kettle, y'all check it out. Links down below for everything I mentioned. Just hit show more. Overall, I'm enjoying this. I'm gonna do some pork burnt ends here before too much longer. But, uh, you know, everybody's kind of doing that right now. So I may let that die down a little bit. Maybe another month or two, I may do some pork belly burnt ends. But thanks to everybody who asked me to do a pork belly. I thoroughly enjoyed this. And folks, I'm seriously, when I tell you, check out the products that are down in the description box. Just hit show more. I would appreciate it. And so would everybody that I mentioned down in my description box. Plus, I got all my social media and stuff down there. Oh, and, um, you know, if I've helped you, you help me keep coming to you. Just click my PayPal link down below in the description box. I'd appreciate it. Anyway, if y'all like this, y'all give me some thumbs up. That was a little lisp, wasn't it? If y'all like this, y'all give me a thumbs up. Hope you share the video. And when you do, please tell all your friends that T-Roy cooks responsibly. Cheers, everybody.